Hey guys, Christian the Haver Card Man here, back at it again with another video today. You'll notice I am skipping the live duel this week in lieu of a uh, test hand slash combo tutorial with my Shadal Hero deck. If you did not see the profile for it, be sure to check it out in the info card up here or down in the description. I'll have a link to it and uh, you guys can definitely check out that profile. I find this a lot of fun. It's different from the normal Shadal deck because most Shadal decks go for more of a control, like you can't special summon type of variant, whereas... This goes more for a going second OTK, and if you survive, you can't special summon sort of deck. So, uh, without further ado, if you guys like the content, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more like this in the future. And let's just go ahead and get straight into the combos here. So let's see what our opening five cards are. All right, so we did not get exactly full combo, but we definitely have the means to work with this hand. And uh, we're actually going second, so let's see what that six card will be. So we got Vyan. So that is actually pretty dang close to full combo right there um the really nice thing is actually we can go oops straight off here we can do a lure of darkness activate that right away so we draw two more cards we drew into a falco and a malicious that is doable not amazing but it's doable so we'll banish the malicious off of the lure and we can use our e-emergency call so that we can go search for elemental here neos because we are going to need him and now we will go ahead and normal our Vion, and pray to god we don't get ashed while using it uh we will send shadow mist to the graveyard and since we've pulled out like all of our uh hero targets from the deck pretty much that we actually want for shadow mist we will instead of searching for uh either our neos or our bubble man we'll just add that other Vion to our hand because i mean might as well and next now we can use Vion to banish the shadow mist Put the banish zone over here for you. Sorry, this is a little bit tight right now. I didn't want to take up too much room here. So, a Vion. Now we can search for Polymerization, which will actually get us to do a lot of our plays here. All right, so copy of Polymerization right there. And now with Polymerization, we'll use that with our Shadal Falco and our Neos so that we can now go into an El Shadal Construct. And uh, do remember, this is in Master Rule 5. Because it is coming up so soon that, uh, I mean, there's really not any point in practicing Master Rule 4. I mean, by the time this video is out, it's probably even going to be already out. So, we'll see on that. I'm not 100% sure. So, now, with Construct and Vion on the field, we can now, or we can use our Constructs effect to send a uh, Shadal card from our deck to the graveyard. And in this case, we're actually going to send Shadal Fusion. And we are just going to assume that our opponent has a monster special summon from the extra deck on the field. So that now, we go ahead and we use Construct and Vion to link off for our Cross Sheep here. And now that we have Cross Sheep out, Construct's ability will trigger in the graveyard so that we can add that Shadal Fusion back to our hand. Alright, so now that we got that, we've got our Shadal Fusion in hand. I actually just realized that Shadal's, Shadal, or El Shadal Construct's effect is not even a once per turn. Um... So, I just realized how much more powerful this combo can be. So, at this point, we'll use Shadal Fusion now so that we can use monsters from our deck. And we will send Re Shadal Wendy and a and Quad Shadal Kios. So that now we can actually special or a fusion summon another El Shadal construct and get that trigger all over again. Uh, but we also get our Rishadal Wendy, so we will special summon Ariel in face-up defense mode. And then we can send another Shadal card from our deck to the graveyard, which will send Squamata. And then with Squamata, we can actually send a, an El Shadal Fusion. So that's great. And then also Cross Sheep's effect will go off now too, so that we will get our Vision Hero Vion back to our uh, field there. So then with him, with Vion back in the field, since he is a soft once per turn, we will banish our Neos to search for a polymerization. And also, all of you guys down in the comments, if you know any rulings on this that I'm totally messing up, please feel free to let me know. I would definitely love to know if I'm screwing any of this up or getting anything wrong here. That would just be terrific. Um, so anyways, now at this point, I'm going to use my polymerization with the Destiny Hero Malicious in my hand, plus Nail Shadal Ariel on my field. 
And then with those two, I can now make Elemental Hero Absolute Zero. We do not get Cross Sheep again because he is sadly a hard once per turn, but that is okay. We will now banish the Malicious from our graveyard to special summon our last copy from the deck. Okay, special summon him in defense mode. And now with that, I mean, look at that. We still have three cards left in our hand. We have a Vision Hero, Vion, a Bubble Man, and a Shawl Hound. So really, we have the means to kind of go into another combo again next turn if we end up getting stalled out this turn. So that is good to know. Uh, but the tricky thing is here is that uh, at this point with this board, this seems pretty good, right? But the thing is, you're going to want to link off your Absolute Zero, your Malicious, and your Cross Sheep for a total of Link 4. So now you go to your Boral Sword. But the thing is, your Absolute Zero left the field, so now all of your opponent's monsters are destroyed. Super, super insane right there. Or if you wanted to, if you really wanted to go crazy, um, instead of using your Malicious, you could actually link off your El Shadal Construct if you want to add that, uh, add that El Shadal Fusion back to your hand and go off with even more plays from there. That is totally reasonable too. If you have more Shadal Monsters in hand, I do have actually... So let's test that out. So if we save our Malicious and we do our Construct instead, we add that El Shadal Fusion back to our hand because we have not activated that yet this turn. And at this point, we now go El Shadal Fusion with the Shadal Hound in our hand plus the Malicious. And now on our field, we have an El Shadal Winda. So not only do you still have an OTK, but if your opponent somehow survives that OTK, you have an El Shadal window on the field that says they can only special summon once on their next turn. So the thing is, you've just cleared their board of monsters. They have nothing left on the field. You have a Boral Sword Dragon that can attack twice for 3,000 apiece, plus a window that can attack for another 2,200. That is 8,200 points of damage on turn two. And they have no monsters left on field. The only thing that's left to stop you is what's in their hand and what's in their back row. So if you're playing up against another combo deck, this is just going to be insane. If you're playing up with the mirror match against El Shadals, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, if that's the case, I would definitely th think about running Super Poly in the side deck. Um, but I didn't really have the room to run it in the main deck. Honestly, for side deck, since I haven't built it yet, I'd recommend three copies of Twin Twisters. Three copies of Evenly Matched if you can afford it. Uh, three Called by the Grave. This deck definitely needs it. I'd honestly almost find a way to main deck that. This is just kind of like a bare bones rough draft for right now. So definitely feel free to mess with this deck however you want to. Um, and then also uh, Lightning Storm. I mean, that's not even reasonable unless you're playing online. Because that's 140 bucks right now. It's just insane. But, I mean, really just back row hate and hand trap hate would be insane for this deck. I mean, Appaloosa, you could throw that in this deck. So if you're going first, you could honestly end on a 3 negate Appaloosa or a 4 negate if you really wanted. So there are plays you can make with this deck that are different. This is just the variant that I took. So if you guys enjoyed it, definitely feel free to take it the way I have it and, like, play with it to your heart's content. I have no... I will have no hard feelings if you end up changing this deck. This is the way that I play it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Once again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for future videos like this. And if you have any decks you want me to mess with, please let me know down in the comments. I am taking any and all suggestions and I will build whatever you guys want to see from me. That's all I got for you today. You guys, I hope to see you all in the next video. Remember to have fun and make your move. Peace out.